Hey, I spoke to several investors. None of them wanted to go on camera. All of them are upset. One 90 year old telling me that Eric Holtz was quote, smooth as silk when he reassured him that his investment was backed by insurance policies and completely safe. Now those investors say they are doubtful that they'll get any of their life savings back. 90 year old Ralph Blythe wrote to Eric Holtz demanding full repayment of the promissory notes he had sold him as investments. According to his lawsuit, Blythe had just had heart bypass surgery and was worried. How will I pay for any segment of that operation that insurance will not cover? That invoice will come in on a flat car. You are sitting on pretty close to nearly a quarter of a million dollars of my life savings with absolutely no relief in sight. Not only have you choked off my normal bill paying ability, but you have clamped a lid on decisions that must be made for our futures, like moving into assisted living, memory care, nursing home, or less expensive neighborhoods. According to the lawsuit, Blythe had been asking for his scheduled interest payments for months, only to get a stream of promises from Holtz. In one earlier email, the lawsuit says Holtz replied, Hey, Ralph, LOL, let's put it this way. It's been nice to have so many conversations and emails with clients over the past few months. We are getting transactions in and we're getting interest checks out in batches, but our deals have been disrupted. Holtz wrote they were refinancing the debt on their company and would soon be able to pay everyone. But according to the lawsuit, there was no refinancing, and Seaman Holtz failed to pay investors. This month, five days after Blythe's attorneys filed a third and this time class action lawsuit against him and his partner, Holtz died by suicide. Clients are hearing word, and they're just, as you can imagine, absolutely um, freaking out. One retired local couple tells me they lost $200,000 and it's very distressing because it's the difference between having a comfortable life and worrying how to finance the rest of our lives. And in a statement, Seaman Holtz says we deny any allegations of wrongdoing and believe this case is without merit. Seaman Holtz did not issue nor offer the notes described in the pending lawsuit. The independent companies that issued and offer the notes are not owned by Seaman Holtz and they are entities named in the lawsuit. Seaman Holtz does not own an interest in these independent companies. Reporting live in Palm Beach Gardens, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.